and welcome back to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey, this is Rose City Reptiles. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's a little different. Um, I have some extra time, so I am working on a little checklist, things that need to get done. And some of those things involve building some more enclosures. Let me show you what I'm talking about. One thing that we're working on are these tortoise enclosures. I just finished this one. Um, all I do is I buy these tubs. I buy these tubs right here, heavy duty stock tanks, 45 gallons from Tractor Supply. They're like $30, I think. And what I do is I just create this top, nothing fancy, no hinges, no nothing, just simple cutouts with hardware cloth. And the reason being, I use these for tortoises. They're not jumping out. When I need to access the tub, I just take it, slide it back just like that, and boom, I get access to my tortoises. Simple and very cheap to do. So, let me put that back on here. Um, so yeah, so I built a top for this one here. We've got a new resident in there. I'm also building and setting up more of these. If you haven't seen the video, of what we do with these. I'll put a card at the top right now so you can click on that and see um, what we turn these tubs into. But let me show you some that are finished. So this is what they look like when they are complete. They work great for growing things out like baby tegus, tortoises, blue tongue skinks. I mean, you can put all types of things in these. They work really, really well. And they're secure. I mean, there's a lock in the front, you unlock it, and there's a door on a hinge. So it works good, um, and it's pretty escape proof. And yeah, so we are going to be building two more of these today. So just a couple days ago, I got um, a new tortoise in the mail. So this tortoise was posted by Ty Parks. A lot of you probably know who he is. Um, he posted it up for sale. I saw it and I had to have it. So I picked it up. It just came in the mail. It is extremely beautiful. It is a red foot tortoise. I have some other ones too, but let me go ahead and get them out, show you this new addition. All right, so I rounded up some of the red foots in here. As you can see, we have five of them growing up in this container here. So they've done extremely well since putting them outside a couple months ago. Um, they spend a lot of time underneath this log. It's very moist, damp under there. I keep them on the same substrate that I keep the tegus on. If you wanna look up that video, I'll put a card at the top of the screen right now um, to show you the substrate that we use. But yeah, just add some leaf litter. I got some plants in here, some of this like monkey grass. They, can, they like to hide down under here. But let me show you guys I'm gonna show you all the tortoises, all the redfoots, but the last one will be the new one. So here's one guy here. He's got a little, look at that. He had a little something in his eye. Um, pretty little redfoot. When I'm picking out a redfoot, I look for like the head coloring and how much of their head is colored. But yeah, so there's one. Here's another one too. Has some really nice markings head bobbing right there. Here's number three. Very pretty. I love these red foot tortoises. They have a ton of personality. As you can see, they're not hiding in their shell or anything. They're just out and about and checking me out. So, all right, so there's the four that we had. Now let me show you the new addition. This one just is crazy. Okay, if this camera can focus. There we go. Look at that one, you guys. Just very, very beautiful. Ty Parks, couldn't be any happier. Thank you for sending this tortoise to me. It's going to do great here. So, yeah, as you can see, compared... Just the coloring on it is... Very nice. Now, why don't we check out these Burmese brown mountain tortoises. These guys are extremely cool. They have a ton of personality, and who doesn't love like a solid black animal like that? I mean, look at this thing. They're really, really cool. They have 
pretty long nails, sharp nails, and that's to help them climb. That's why I have some of these things in here. They'll climb all the way to the top of this, no problem. Um, we feed them a pretty varied diet, similar to like the Redfoots. They will eat fruit, um, lots of greens, grasses, cactus. I'll even give them corn sometimes. They really like corn, and I have people have told me that's part of their natural diet but so much personality in these guys um, I do have a few of them some of them are gonna stay in their shell and some are not like this guy here they're just really cool super underrated but yeah I love tortoises but I really love tortoises with personality and ones that are just different and so yeah, the Burmese browns, they, they love to climb and they also love water. So like they will soak sometimes for hours. So I really like that about them. They can also tolerate a little bit cooler temps. Um, I wouldn't have any problem keeping them out here in like the 50s and 60s. So I've even, I've seen them outside um, when it's 55 degrees or so, not the babies with some adults. When it can be 50, 55 and they'll be outside sitting in a puddle you know so so yeah they're pretty tolerant to those cooler temperatures and that just means i can keep them outside even longer here in east texas so another reason why i really like working with them so very last turtle and tortoise that i'm going to show you today is our chinese box turtles um, some of you guys have requested a video on these guys an update and i'm going to show you how they're doing so here's their enclosure it's pretty it's grown in pretty nicely they definitely like it um, they spend most of their time like during the heat of the day they like you can see that one has a hole right here they dig down in and they just have their head sticking out the other one goes under here so you can see it let me pull it out so it's pretty dirty right now but they like it that way so yeah they bury down they just stick their head out you can see they're still just as friendly as can be they've grown a lot their shell is rock hard so they're doing really really well I don't think I can quite sex them yet I'm not sure but there's one the other one's a bit more shy but it's also bigger but yeah here's the other one that's why they call them box turtles he is closed up in there let's see if he'll come out for us Come on, buddy. Come on. Say hi. Here he comes. <laughs> These guys, full of personality. I mean, everything that you like about a tortoise or a turtle, they have it to me. Um, the diet is is very easy. Uh, the care is pretty pretty simple. They're beautiful. That's a big plus. I mean, they are just very very beautiful. They are a good size, very manageable size, um, and just full of personality. So much personality. So I am a huge fan of the Chinese box turtles. I can't wait to get more of them. I see them for sale sometimes and I have to really control myself because I would love to have a big army of these guys one day. Our positive comment shout out today goes to George he said, Van looks awesome. Can't wait to see some offspring. Great video. George, thank you for the support. You've been around from way before YouTube channel even started. I appreciate you very much. Um, yeah, if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, just drop a positive comment down below and you could be shouted out. So those are some of the tortoises that we have around here. We do have some others, but those are the Redfoots, the Burmese, Burmese Browns, and the Chinese box turtle. So three of my favorite turtle and tortoise species. I mean, they are just, I love all of them so much. Like I got into tortoises a few years ago and I really never thought I would like them that much. They just seemed kind of boring um, until you actually own one. And then you realize how personable they can be. And I actually find it, this might sound weird, but it's actually therapeutic for me. To just kind of sit down and watch tortoises like graze and it really helps me slow down and just enjoy my day so that's extremely 
therapeutic for me. I really enjoy caring for them and just spending time with them. Um, can't wait for them to get bigger. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed a little update on the tortoises and if you would like to see, you know, we've got quite a few animals here that we don't really show off that often. Do you guys want me to show some more of these animals off on the channel? Um, I know a lot of you guys are here for the tegus and that's totally cool. Um, but yeah, we do have some other things. So I'm going to start doing more of that, showing more of those animals off. If you don't want to miss those videos, make sure you subscribe, join the Rose City Reptiles family. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.